Right, hi. Um, just wanted to show you. I got this book a while ago. Somebody in one of my classes had one and they were working in it. And everybody in the class was just so bowled over by it. Um, I think everybody bought one. I think they must have made a fortune. So it's just basically, it's called Grids and Guides. And there's all so much opportunity in here for embellishment. You see all these different pages? And last night I was looking through it and I saw a page like this and I thought it was the front. So but bear in mind it was late last night and I was probably half asleep. I thought it was the front so I thought I'd do something in that today to get me started in this book. Probably this book will end up with a lot of colour studies in it because it's perfect for that. But for now I'm not in the mood for paint. Um, I'm just not in the mood for paint. I don't want to, I can't elaborate. So this is the page and I thought it was at the front because I was looking like that. And it turns out it's at the back but it doesn't matter. So what I've done today, I've ironed an iron on transfer onto there. So what I thought I'd do, bearing in mind I wanted it for a colour study initially, this book. Um, we'll have a little bit of a pattern study I think. So what I'm going to do, now my plan, and don't hold your breath waiting for this to come off because I've got so many things on the go that some things get left and then I come back to them so it won't be like tomorrow or anything but my plan is to like put a different colour of this pattern in every one of these squares but for this morning see it's got text down there that I can't even read because it was a very old transfer um, but for now I just thought I'd do black under here and try and replicate some of what's going on here now how good that'll be I've got no idea but I'm going to give it a go and we'll see what happens. So, some people draw every day. Um, I don't. I'm not a natural drawer. I'm a fabric and thread kind of girl. As you probably know. Um, so, try and get it as good as I can. It's a good exercise this for studying pattern and for seeing details. Even if it's not perfectly to scale, which trust me it won't be, because I'm not that good. Um, and sometimes you've really got to look really hard you think you can tell you think that it's obvious but it isn't necessarily obvious now i can't really make out what these things are they're like little bit of bluebell cups so because like i say it was a a vintage pattern a vintage transfer so it hasn't necessarily transferred very clearly well, I think that's all right. And then we've got another one coming here. Um, like that. You see, I'm running out of room at the bottom now. So I obviously haven't done it properly to scale. And then we've got... So I've got three there. There's three there. I've got one here kind of hidden under this top one. So that's like that, and then there's another one here, and there's another one here, it's definitely not to scale, it's not going to be exactly replicated because I haven't left myself enough room. And then here there's some kind of star thing going on. There, and then under that one, on here, there's like a little berry or something, but I don't think I can fit that in, unless I do it really small. And then we've got just circles here. See, I nearly did them there. That's what I mean, you've got to pay so much attention. And then my kind of petal thing going on here. There, like that, and then another two of those little circles, and then up here, 
got another one of them star things. I haven't even done that right, see? It's like the one down here, have I? Two. Oh no, I have. So closely, look. like that and there's another one here so it is kind of it does doesn't it it does echo what's going on up there that's like a little flying saucer I don't know what that's all about but it's there so we'll put it in and then there's another two stars up here how long is this video we could be here for quite some time um, And the reason I made a video today is because I didn't get any sewing done yesterday. I had some new cabinets put up upstairs. If you look on my Instagram, you'll see them. Um, and the guy, we got an expert in to do it because they would fall off if we did them. We're no good at stuff like that. We know our limits. Um, just let me... And here, from these top two, there's like rows of circles going across on top of these star things but because I haven't kept it exactly replicated I'm going to have to just do them up to the edge of those star things um, yeah so we've got an expert in to do it but he needed a hand and um, he needed me to hold them up on occasion when he was putting the screws in and stuff and um, because they're quite heavy so I was a carpenter's apprentice yesterday but I said to him, I'm not taking the job full time because you're a right slave driver. He's actually a friend of my husband's, but that's what he does for a living. Right, so I actually really like that. Now the only place I'm going to struggle now, and I know I am, is this bow here. Um, but the person from class who initially bought this book commented on how therapeutic it was to work in. Um, you know who you are. And everybody in class knows who you are. No anonymity here. Um, and I have to say, she's right. Working within the confines of these lines um, it's, it's restrictive, but it's good. It teaches you discipline. Well, I'm thinking it teaches you discipline. Uh, oh, that's quite good. I'm quite pleased with that. And up there as well. Now what's going on here? I haven't a clue what's going on here. It's just a lot of this. And a little bit of that. And then another flying saucer. There, there, so that's it. Apart from the writing, oh, I'm really pleased with that. So I don't know what to do about the writing because I can't um, make it out. But I'm not going to attempt it today in case I make a mess of it because I'm I'm really really happy with that. So if I did say a red one, a green one, um, a pink one, you know, do the different colours on there, I actually really like that. Good exercise. 